Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the extracurricular initiative, the Conqueror Fitness Challenge. Um, the whole point of this is to promote healthy lifestyles, physical activity outside of school. Um, on the flip side of that is fundraising. Uh, as you know, schools need fundraising and unfortunately with COVID-19, our amazing PTA haven't been able to run the events that they'd have liked to. Um, I think on average probably lost about £4,000, which is a lot to a school. So we're now asking for children's help uh, to fundraise. But the main priority is health and activity outside of school. Hopefully, uh, you've seen our teaser video we posted earlier in the week. If you haven't, don't worry, because here it is now. Okay, so that was the teaser. Um, obviously doesn't explain too much, uh, but just gives you a little taste of what's gonna happen. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna share my screen now with a bit of a PowerPoint presentation to explain how it all works so that you understand. The children have been told uh, in their PE sessions, uh, we promote it as much as we can with the kids. They maybe even spoke to you about it, but this video is for your purpose and for you to understand how it works and what you would need to do to help your child. So let me just share my screen now. Okay, as you can see here, we have the Conqueror Virtual Challenge. Uh, how it works is this. Every time a child or your child um, does an activity, whether you're running, walking, cycling, uh, or having a kick about, taking dog for a walk, um, ideally they need to record it through a fitness tracker or a step counter. I think a lot of kids nowadays have those little step counters and it's say the distance or steps. Or if you go on a, a big walk as a family on the weekend or a cycle ride, um, yourself parents will have a mobile phone that can also track that distance. So there are ways around it, um, but there are also some difficulties in this way. However, when you do that, record it, and then you're going to fill out an online form. Okay, a little bit like how virtual sports day was done. Uh, we have an online form that is four questions. Name, distance travelled. Um, which challenge you want to go to, and I'll explain more into that, and evidence. The reason why I ask for evidence is not because of the porky pies children may tell, although I did ask, or a child in year three came up to me and told me they ran 50 miles on the, the weekend, not far off two London marathons, um, and we're like, yeah, no, it's easy, no problem at all. But the real reason is evidence that I can see that children are being active. That is the main thing with this, that I know children are being active outside of school. Um, once you fill in the form, you send it to me, I record the data and we have this whole big display in assembly and on our board every week. Uh, as you can see in pre read now, um, we've got a big board, we put it all on there for the children to see, it's always updated. I'll get all the data entry and literally just put it onto there. It'll be in assemblies as well. So we keep the children motivated in that way. Uh, Let's have a look what else we've got on here. You've probably read most of this here. Mentioned about the fundraising. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, teachers will also get involved um, to help out with the challenge, but also give them a bit of encouragement and, pro and promote the health, active lifestyle and physical activity. Uh, next page. So here's a couple of challenges. We have the Inca Trail and Hadrian's Wall. Uh, these are two of the smaller ones. You can see a bit of information about them. Once we've completed a challenge, they send uh, a medal, uh, and it's not just your average little Sunday league football medal, which is pound fifty. These are pretty decent medals, to be fair. And that will be put into a commemorative frame, which will go up in the hall once it's completed. We've got the English Channel. That's probably the smallest one. As you can see, it's 33.8 kilometers. 
and the Camino de Santiago. Uh, we've got the what's it, Alps to Ocean in New Zealand and the Great Ocean Road in Australia. Um, what I'll do is I'll send this um, little PowerPoint out for you all to have a look in depth uh, and look at all these images and read all the writing if I go on too quickly. These are the two brand new ones that have only just come out. So you've got the Cabot Trail in Canada and the Ring Road in Iceland. Uh, that's quite a big one with 1,330 kilometers. Grand Canyon, as you know, and the Land's End to John O'Groats, which is another big one at 1,742 kilometers. And the next two are the biggest ones. They're quite large. Every time I put this slide up and tell them the distances, all the kids are like, whoa, no way, we can't do that. So I'm not asking you to do it in one hit. Okay, it's all working, it's collaborative, and get the children to work together. Try to hit that goal. And the last one is the Ring of Kerry, which is also one of the new ones. That's the total distance. It is a lot. If every child took part, as you can see, they'd have to do pretty much 50 kilometers. Now, not every child will take part or might not go as hard as some others. Hopefully, they all do. Fingers crossed. It's my aim, that's what I'd like. Um, this is an open challenge. It's not got a set date. If this needs to run the whole year to the end of summer term, then it runs for the whole of summer term. If it's finished by Christmas, then awesome, excellent. All the children push themselves, but it's an open challenge. And we'll keep that going every week, keep promoting it and encouraging the children to do those physical activities outside of school. Um, Along the routes of all the challenges, you have like a virtual map of how far we are. Uh, when I did a couple here, as you can see, uh, Hayden's Wall, uh, two thirds through, and then towards the beginning of Camino de Santiago. Um, and it gives you kind of like a, an understanding of how far we've actually gotten from the start. Because kids were like, well, how far are we? If I said to them 30 kilometers, they wouldn't really understand or gauge how far that is on the trail. Along the way, um, the company Conqueror also sends you virtual postcards, mainly of landmarks along the way. As you can see, uh, Pamplona, which is running with the balls, which is a crazy thing in Spain. And they constantly send you ones as you hit certain points of the trail. This, along with a certificate at the end and the medal and pictures of the children, will be put into a massive commemorative frame, which will be put in the hall. Um, there are 13 challenges in total, so to have 13 big frames that will be up in the hall and effectively will be there as part of the Embrick history. They'll be up there forever. Okay, so when your kids have kids or grandkids, hopefully those frames are still there and they can go, hey, look, that's my mum. And like I said, here's the certificates uh, that you get at the end, which will also be put into the commemorative frame for the children to see every day. And here we go. Ah, so let's get four. So here it is. Fairly simple, uh, only four questions. First one is your child's name, uh, to which challenge you want to contribute your distance to, uh, all 13 are on there, and then the distance you traveled. Whether that be in kilometers or steps, um, steps are fine if you've only got a step counter, because um, I can then work it out as to how far the child has traveled. Uh, and then, like I said, a picture. Uh, or an image of the steps or the distance. I don't want to see an image of any child running. All I want to see is numbers. Uh, just a picture of your watch or a screenshot of your phone and then upload it and send to me. And then I get all the data and then put it into an Excel spreadsheet which tells me how far the kids have traveled um, and how far along on the challenges we are done. Uh, to give you an example, if every child in one class ran one kilometre, um, that's pretty much the English Channel challenge done already. And that's just a child, 32 children, running one kilometre. That's pretty much done. You choose how, not how, sorry, which challenge you want your distance to go to. It works cumulative. We work towards the target of that challenge before it's completed. Let me now show you the where are we ah the fundraising form let's share the screen there is all right fundraising form again uh you'll get this with uh the next letter 
Uh, child needs to put the name in their class. Uh, a little bit of a blurb. I've put on here how far we can get before Christmas as a first target. Like I said before, it doesn't matter if we don't complete it by Christmas. Uh, it would be nice to see how many challenges we actually complete by Christmas and then we carry on past then. Um, all funds to be handed in by November 6th. Uh, if you want to bring those funds earlier, you can. doesn't matter if you get it all in three days, return it, but we want all the money, fundraising money is collected by the 6th of November. At the bottom, we've got a target distance for your child to put in. They can put down the 49.9 kilometers if they want. If they want to go higher, they can. If they want to go lower, they can. Uh, it's just for the child to have a target and work towards. And then try and raise as much funds as they can with your help and your encouragement. Asking friends, families, um, and anyone that you think might be kind enough to contribute. All right, so let's get out of there. Okay, that is the end of the presentation and the video in regards to how the Conqueror Challenge works. If you have any questions, then please just let me know. Feel free to email in or catch me after school if you see me. But I think I've covered pretty much everything. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Not really, apart from encourage child to take part. Okay, and you might need to help out and join in, uh, which would be great, by the way. Um, really push your child and encourage them and, understand, and explain to them the understanding of why it's important to keep physically active and also the fundraising element for schools. These are two very important things for us. And if everyone's on board, I'm 100% it will be an amazing initiative for the children and for the school. Uh, I believe it will work and I hope you do too. Take care of yourselves and good luck.